here in my beautiful Boise garden again. Absolutely phenomenal. Cheers to that. The beauty of working from home. So I've been uh, every now and again I go on my email on the computer for hours and then I just need a break. Thankfully, because I spend a lot of time alone, I have you as my company. So thank you very much for joining me. I appreciate it. Now you'll notice at the top of the tag there, I wrote, I want to live to be 100 years old. That's my next goal. <laughs> it's a long-term goal, for sure. It's not a short term. Uh, and it's not something that's um, completely taken over my mind, but it's something that's definitely on my mind. And it, it allows me to acknowledge a little bit more what's around me, um, to be a little bit more present, and obviously to put a little bit more time, focus, and energy within to my health. And uh, you'll notice that there's def definitely been an escalation of that within me over the past several years. And um, it's something that I really enjoy. I enjoy the practice. I enjoy doing all these tests and studies and uh, with the doctors and with all these specialists and finding out exactly how to rectify certain hormonal levels, digestive is issues, the stress placed upon the hard cholesterol and how we can kind of uh, not even just slow down the process but reverse it in some cases. I just did um, an age, of, of, basically it's a test that guesses your fitness age, basically, you know, so we all generally go by the age, I'm 38, I'm 42, I'm 56, but that isn't really a direct correlation of your age, because obviously the, I know there are generic dispositions that can dictate someone's uh, time of death, but uh, we can do whatever we can on a whole to be younger than the, our actual numbers that we uh, are given from birth. Uh, I just did a I just had a calculation taken of my fitness age, which I'm really happy about because when I was 20, it probably would have been about 28, 30. Now I just had my fitness age calculated. It's 28 years old. I'm very happy about that, but I'm not satisfied. I want to make it even younger. Uh, when I got tested in one of the world's top clinics in at the end of 2015, I came within the top 3% of the people that they had tested there, which was really, I was ecstatic. It just goes to show that everything that I'm telling you, everything that I apply upon myself is actually working. Of course, we all want to look good for vanity purposes because it makes us feel good. We have more confidence. We're able to talk to the opposite sex with a little bit more, um, uh, confidence behind us. We feel better overall. You look in a mirror and you look good, of course you're going to feel good. But it shouldn't be something that dictates everything else because there's a lot of people within this industry uh, with massive insecurities which leads to various eating disorders, uh, abuse of uh, certain drugs, and uh, not really even looking into the sources of their food or even the sources of their supplements, uh, which I think is absurd. It, you only have one life on this earth. One life. Why would you abuse the carcass that is carrying you through this life? This is a fantastic vessel that you've been given. I like to be the full residence of my body from the neck down. How many people do you know are not in control of their lives and not in control of their bodies? They're not. It's as if they are residing in someone's house that they're renting from. You know, it's, it's like they're not the owner. They do not know how to properly take care and upkeep this, this house of theirs that will withstand storms and, uh, and age. You know, it starts to age, it falls down, and then they have to break it down and put another one in its place. I don't plan to be that anytime soon. So I am very, uh, even though I like to bodybuild, now obviously I'm uh, testing myself again by competing in an Ironman, but as a 220 pound bodybuilder, obviously with a bit of fat, um, my 
I know for a fact if I focus on the sources, not just the calories, just not, you know, I don't give a fuck about the calories. Well, how many calories you want? I don't give a fuck. I give a fuck more so. Of course, it comes into the equation of what are the sources of those calories? Where do they come from? How were they processed or not processed? Um, the same with the, the protein sources that I'm getting in. Are they assimilating? Would they show, would they um, blow up my food allergy markers if I was to eat that because I want to rem remove myself of any inflammation internally and externally. And, you know, we look at foods that are possibly anti-inflammatory. Well, let's look at foods that do inflame you, that do make you bloated, that can give you joint issues. Stay away from those because that's your body's way of telling you, you need to kind of take better care of me. I'm protesting here. So one of the things that I've been practicing, and if you follow my Insta stories or if you follow me online, you know that to begin every single day, I like to kind of detoxify, uh, detox myself, whether that be through mental meditation before I get out of bed, taking some deep breaths, kind of cleansing my, br my brain and lowering my cortisol levels. And then I begin with this bloody disgusting concoction. I just, uh, I've had it a little bit late today because I wanted to kind of show you guys. So in this concoction, get your pens out if you want to try to uh, remember what I put in my greens drink every morning, because it's quite a list now I'm adding to it, especially as I said, uh, now I'm going into this man of iron program. I want to ensure that as I prepare for the Ironman, I'm a highly tuned machine because not only am I doing the three disciplines, I'm still bodybuilding, I'm still training like a friggin' maniac in order to try to make, uh, build muscle as I go into this thing. Yeah, it may not be the right way for a lot of people, but it's the right way for me. It's a challenge, you know, I want to see what the body and brain is made up of. So. In this, <laughs> this beautiful concoction, here we go. It's a teaspoon of the following each. One teaspoon of cinnamon. One teaspoon of cracked black pepper. One teaspoon of ginger. And this is all powdered. One teaspoon of turmeric. Yeah, you got it so far. One scoop of the cage mussel uh, fermented glutamine. One scoop of the caged mussel fermented branch chain amino acids. Now, the third one is entirely up to you. You can actually add a scoop of hydrocharge in it to help disguise the taste. Or what I did today instead, because it's a non-training day, I'm not taking my pre-caged or re-caged, I actually put two scoops of the patented caged mussel creatine HCL. And I actually have the lemon lime flavor, so it gives it a much taster, uh, tastier, makes it a much tastier drink. And then the fluids that you will see in there is number one. I have my omega oils in there, so I go very high EPA and DHA of about uh, one gram each. I'll have that again before bed. And then I will have about 50 milligrams of uh, kefir, which is a good probiotic for the stomach. Then I will have uh, two teaspoons of my greens powder. Obviously get my fiber in there, my antioxidants, my, my micronutrients. And then I will have about 30 milligram of the Bragg's apple cider vinegar. And then about 30, um, of, uh, 30 milligrams of the organic lemon juice. And then a presto, bottoms up. And just like that, it is gone. Thank God I got a chaser. So this is how I'll start off my day. I'll have that and then I'll let that settle for a good 10, uh, 15 minutes. And at, at, that, at that time, I'm preparing my breakfast. So I'll have my breakfast then following that. Let that settle. Take my pre-caged, if it's a training day, head to the friggin' gym, you know, and then throughout the day, I'm making sure that I'm drinking my filtered water, I'm having my organic produce whenever possible, I'm eating extremely uh, clean and healthy, I try to stay away from any uh, preservatives, very, very high sodium, any artificial colors, I don't want any artificial flavors, that's why in the, the, in the caged muscle supplements, that's why I didn't 
spare any expense, none whatsoever. That's why there'll probably be a lot of stress within Cage Muscle uh, because we're not making any money, uh, because we are just slicing our margin. We are unlike any other company where they have a lot of margin to play with, to negotiate, to be part of promotions, to be in a lot of brick and mortar stores, to be in the magazines, to be at the expos, to give away samples. We can't do that because I put all that money, all of the money into that bloody product, you know, because I give a fuck about what I put into my, uh, my stomach because my stomach to me is my second brain. So once I, after I tested basically the top 10 selling products out there, I was fucking horrified because there's a lot of products even outside of the top 50 that are very good. <laughs> Would you believe it? Because they're not putting all the money into the marketing uh, to be within the top 50, you know, or top 10, I should say. So when I look at all the heavy metal contaminants, when I look at all the artificial flavors, the artificial colors, the ace Ks, the dyes, the generic ingredients fairy dosed of uh, any patented ingredients um, I think it's fucking horrendous to be honest with you and I don't want to be a part of it my goal is now it's to have a quality of life right now in the present but one when I'm in my 70s when my 80s 90s and when I reach my uh, reach 100 now there are probably a lot of bodybuilders uh, thinking that way and that's absolutely fine and you may bash on me for thinking that way as well but it makes me happy I like that you may think oh that's fucking sad thinking that far ahead no I like that it makes me happy it's another challenge something that I can overcome and see uh, what's possible you know a lot of people give up and I can't understand why they abuse their bodies right now at such a young age I'm thinking fuck you don't give a fuck about the price that you're gonna pay later who wants to live in regret? Because that's where you're heading. All you've got to do is make some very simple choices and be educated on what you're going to, going to put into your vessel. Uh, because you've got this lifeline that's been handed to you for free. Thank you, mum and dad. And now you're going to abuse that opportunity you've been given. It's like, what the fuck? Just to save some money so you can go clothes shopping, so you can go on holiday, so you can get that nice car. Of course, the ladder is great. And I love a holiday, even though it's an active holiday because I can't sit in a fucking beach. I go nuts. Um, and I like driving my Jeep, but I would never put that in front of my health no fucking way you know like sometimes I'll go to a meeting or social gathering and people are pushing me to eat and eat a certain food or some cultures find it uh, offensive if you don't eat a certain food hell no I don't give a shit who I offend I'm looking after me because they're not going to be there on my bedside are they at the end of the days you know they're not responsible then it's me I so I have to be responsible now so uh, that's what I, and now I've been given this opportunity, this platform, which I wish that I had as I was growing up. So now I think it's rude not to bloody share uh, that knowledge with other people, because I hope that I can influence a couple of you to actually do the same. And if I do influence you, then you can influence others, whether it be your parents, your uh, spouse, siblings, whoever, uh, because it's a crowdsource of motivation that inspires others to transform their lives not just from the physical out uh, from the physical being but from the spiritual and mental and everything you know I feel so much better for it so it's, it's funny you know a lot of people think oh and they actually tell me that's a fucking waste of time god you, you lay, you're saying that you live in a toxic environment what you don't use a bloody microwave you gotta you know and all this stuff and they ridicule you but I feel so much better from since I've made these changes. Like I don't have the joint pains that I once was. I don't have the knee pains or the back pains. I don't feel depressed. I don't have the mental fogginess. I feel energized now. I feel happier. I feel fresher. My body responds so much better. So they can ridicule me all I want. I don't give a fuck. I go by feeling. It doesn't always correlate to something written because they'll say, well, studies prove that it just doesn't work. I'm going to fuck about those studies. I'm on my study paper here. I can actually feel it. It's not a placebo effect. Even if it is a placebo effect, I'll fucking take it. Um, yeah, so uh, I like my little rant there. I'm going to answer some questions for you in a second.
the reason why I got this creatine out is because a lot of people have been asking me about creatine because a lot of people obviously take creatine monohydrate. Now, creatine monohydrate is the most studied supplement out there in the world. And by, you know, by good right, there's, uh, but there's reasons for it. You know, if you're going to draw comparisons, you know, whether it be from an endurance aspect to uh, powerlifting to different age groups, different genders, um, could be powerlifting, CrossFit, uh, triathletes, uh, running, a, a, a strongman, uh, sprinting, strength training, bodybuilding. Of course, they're going to have to do uh, tests and studies in each one of these profiles. So, of course, monohydrates have been around for fucking donkey's years. It's going to be the most studied, isn't it, to have those comparisons? Doesn't mean it's the best, though. Yeah, creatine monohydrate definitely does work, but the thing is, it does draw in a lot of fluid into the cell, and when that volumizes in your stomach because it doesn't dilute in water, then you're going to get bloatedness, you're going to feel sick, you're going to have digestion problems. Not everyone, but a lot of people, it completely fucks me up, so I don't touch monohydrates. Well, that's why I prefer a creatine HCL, because I don't give a shit if you're on a diet, if you're trying to get shredded, if you're putting on mass, you're not going to get subcutaneous fluid retention underneath the skin. It's going to be intramuscular, exactly what you want, whether you're trying to build muscle, obviously for the ATP output, and to burn fat, because obviously the more muscle we have, more muscle density, the faster metabolism we're going to have, so we can burn off fat. So I think creatine HCL should be taken all year round. Now, uh, the the and you can test this. If you've got a creatine monohydrate at home, Actually, I should have done it here, but I'll do it next time. If I have two glasses, and I put creatine monohydrate here and stir. It still settles on the bottom. So, of course, it's going to settle in your stomach. It's no fucking good to me. Then if you put the creatine HCL in a solution and stir that, it disappears. And that's what I want. I want something that goes straight into the system that isn't going to give me fluid retention. Plus, I can microdose uh, with this. But anyways, there you go. Now, I'm going to lean forward here because it's so friggin' bright and see if I can answer some questions here. Uh, any UK stockers for pre-caged in the future? Yes, uh, bodybuilding.com has it over there. Hey Chris, are you doing steady state cardio as well as run, swim, bike for your triathlon training? Uh, <laughs> not on purpose. Uh, because like, for instance, I, I, it's not part of it. No, but like I, I filmed myself this morning and I said, look, today's supposed to be a non-training day where I'm supposed to be off completely mentally. I don't think I can do that because I'll, I'll go insane. So I'll actually probably do some steady state. Uh, but throughout the rest of the time, no, I'm not. But I started on a treadmill yesterday to do like a three mile run and I put, uh, and this was after my workout. And I put on some wrist weights, well, ankle weights on my wrist because I want to make it harder uh, upon, you know, on my biceps. Because I'm doing everything that I can to uh, simulate a marathon without actually doing a marathon. Do you know what I mean? So I'm doing everything that I can to begin with to make things a lot tougher. So I had the ankle weights on my wrist. And so uh, after two miles, I was fucked. <laughs> I was shattered. I had it on a bit of an incline. Uh, so then I had to walk walk myself pretty much the last mile. So, yeah, I am doing steady state. It's just not intentional. Uh, what are your thoughts on diaspargic acid for testosterone booster? No. Nah. I tested it, and I actually had my blood reports done. It didn't do anything. I didn't feel anything either. So, you know, it's up to you. Can I compete naturally in bodybuilding? Uh, yeah, why not? I competed my entire career in natural bodybuilding. So there you go. Why doesn't the Cage Muscle Pro uh, website ship to Finland? Because bodybuilding.com do. So if they have, if they're in Europe and they ship to certain countries, we agree that C uh, Cage Muscle won't. Chris, can you do a video at your meals similar to the ones you had recently had for your breakfast? Uh, yeah, well, if you follow my video series, my video trainers, I've got all my breakfasts that I eat in those. Uh, just got off an eight-month bulk now, cut in with clean burn, feel tight all day. Is this normal uh, adjustment period? Yeah, it's going to be normal because you're on lower calories. You're not going to have as much fuel in the tank, you. Sorry, I'm speaking on both YouTube and Facebook here, so I'm going to put these phones a little bit closer together. 
Uh, what's your opinion on HMB? Will you look to produce your own? No. Again, I didn't really like HMB, mate, so probably won't be, no. Uh, how much body fat did you put on for the muscle building trainer? Put on? You obviously didn't see the before and after pictures then, Donald, did you? I actually lost fat. Uh, one of the main motivations is that I do that is because people always say can't put on muscle and you can't, uh, and burn fat at the same time and I've proven time and time again now that you can. Hold on, this question's going. What made you want to do an Iron Man? Uh, because people told me that I'd probably suck at it, so I thought, okay, I'll suck at it. Let's fucking do it. Um, Will you be competing in the half Ironman in quarter lane? Probably. Uh, cheers, mate. Heard the same stuff about Rybus. Yeah, I talking about Rybus this morning actually with someone. Uh, love your Singapore. Love from Singapore, Chris. Met you before when you were here. Never stop looking back, doing all your workouts. That's awesome, Eugene. Yeah, I really enjoyed my time over in Singapore. Thank you guys for having me over there. I appreciate it. Uh, I meant a video like explaining the meal and ingredients. Uh, that was knowledge and fun. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But like I said, in my video trainers, I actually do show you how to make one of those breakfasts and what's in it specifically, you know. Uh, what's your take on CrossFit? Yeah, it's fine if uh, that's something that you want to do. Just be careful in the beginning. Your body takes time to adapt to anything. Just saw a cage muscle tank top in the background of a Rich Piana video. Cool. Um, hey, Chris. Thanks for discussing these matters. It helps a lot. God, sorry. I can't see it so bright out there. Especially in a fast world. Can you break the myth for everybody that's smoking... Stress and gym doesn't go along. Yeah, of course. Well, anything like that is going to raise your cortisol levels, isn't it? Cortisol levels, what's it do? It burns muscle and adds fat or prevents you from losing fat as, uh, as much, you know? And um, what was the other question in there? Okay. Yeah, and of course, if you're smoking, that's going to asphyxiate the oxygen that you need within your uh, muscles to uh, uh, oxygenate the blood. Uh, how increase size of legs? Follow my muscle building program. What's your take on Andro and for Andro? Fucking stay away from him, mate. You know, look after your health. Uh, what do you cons? What do you consider an obstacle racing? What do you consider of obstacle racing? I sorry, I can't understand that question. Would you consider our oh, obstacle racing like Spartan race after triathlon? Oh, yeah, after for sure. I was thinking of doing it before, but I thought I don't want to risk injury. When to take L-carnitine before, during, or after workouts? Okay, so take it before and after your workouts and take it before your cardio sessions. Uh, Robert says the eggs... Oh, fuck. Sorry, guys. These questions are just going way, way too fast. And try to make them as short as possible. When you don't drink HydroCharge, what brand coconut water do you like? I don't know. I just drink HydroCharge all the time. The eggs, oats, cinnamon, and nutmeg is awesome. Thanks for the video. No worries, Robert. Uh, please tell me what is the perfect time to do cardio. Follow my video series, guys, and uh, bloody hell, I answer all of these. Can you explain exactly what Ironman is? What an Ironman is, it's an Ironman distance triathlon, which uh, is like a 112-mile bike ride. Uh, sorry, uh, it starts off with a 2.4-mile swim, a 112-mile bike ride, and then a full marathon, just over 26 miles. Uh, Mark says, can you explain? Oh, just answer that. Ivan said, is Clean Burn coming to the UK soon? No, because Gymnema Sylvestra is an ingredient not allowed in the UK. Uh, Christopher says, hello from Denver, Colorado, going through your workouts on week four, loving it, thanks. Thank you, Christopher. Um, roughly, how long do you space your meals between in the day, within every three hours? Uh, why were you out of shape before the 12-week trainer? What made you stay ripped for years after? Um, man, didn't you follow the video series? All about the hardcore video series, didn't you? I tore my pec and my hamstring snowboarding. I explain all these things in, in my videos, guys. Chris, why do you avoid fat and carbs at the same time while reverse dieting? Because I want to give my body um, an allowance of using one of those 
as an energy source and not uh, storing another one as a fat. Because if I, I've not, noticed if I reverse diet, very, very lean uh, reverse diet, then I put on so much more muscle. Are you coming to Pakistan with your brand? Uh, it is in Pakistan. We ship hundreds of boxes to Pakistan all the time from cagemuscle.com. Um, caged muscle available in the Gulf? Yeah, either order from cagemuscle.com or bodybuilding.com. I see you're wearing a Welsh jersey. What do you think the score will be tomorrow? Who knows? That's like me predicting a fight. It can go either way. Is the Ironman prep harder or easier than you thought? Man, I'm only in in it four days. <laughs> Ask me in a couple of months, not four days in. Chris, found out cage muscle is the only supplement I can take with a dodgy kidney. Hey, that's friggin' awesome to hear, Lawrence. Man, I've heard so many of these stories. Now, people that have bad kidneys can't take supplements, but they can take cage muscle. People who are lactose intolerant or have food allergies can't take supplements, but they can take cage muscle. They can take reach cage and they can take casein. And we have people that are cystic fibrosis sufferers that can't take any supplements, but they can take cage muscle. It just goes to show what shit and crap and alien alien bloody ingredients that must be in some of these friggin' supplements. Um, long live Chris and Cage Muscle. Thank you. What is the best vegetarian diet to lose 10 kilos in a month? God, you're not going to lose 10 kilos in a month without uh, losing fat. So I wouldn't suggest that you do that. Follow the diet in my Bollywood Body by Design book, okay? You can get it on chrisgethin.com, and my book is called Bollywood Body by Design. Um, I love cage muscle supplements. Hey, man, how's the man of iron... Uh, uh, training going. Uh, it's going all right, guys, but like I said, everybody, you can ask me in, a, in probably like five or six weeks' time. I'm only like a few days in, uh, so obviously it's a piece of piss at the moment for me, so uh, let's wait till it gets fucking difficult, and then I'll tell you. Um, hey, Chris, are your books in audio? Yes, some of them are. If you go on to chrisgethin.com, you'll see uh, some of my books in audio and paperback and hardback. Um... Wow, look, guys, sorry, some of your questions are, are, are really long, so play, I, I can't answer them if they're really long. How to transition from muscle builder to fat loss program? Just go straight into it. What's the best program to follow for fat burning? Follow my eight week hardcore training. Or if you just don't want to, if you don't care about putting on muscle, follow the four weeks to shred. Okay? Uh, curious as to why every time I start back on hardcore training program, like your awesome programs, I catch a cold in some form. How to avoid that? Increase your glutamine. So to get your, if you're taking like four scoops of fermented glutamine a day, I'd bump it up to. Uh, six scoops if I were you obviously increase your fluid intake as well and maybe some antioxidants uh, how much glutamine in a day for hardcore trainer program 20 grams uh, what is your age now actually you can guess what my age is still making music not at the moment uh, get down to fresh west to train for an Ironman. <laughs> Why would I do that, man? I'm in fucking, uh, I'm in Boise, uh, Idaho. There's a shitload of mountains here. Uh, what's your thoughts on calisthenics? Yeah, obviously all have, have its place. Uh, do it. Uh, what is the best songs to listen to in the gym? I'm listening to a band called American Grimm at the moment. I like that. Uh, those are really some cool glasses. Thank you very much. Carb intake before muscle building program daily. Is that good? Carbs in I don't un understand your question, I'm afraid. Hey, Chris, will you be attending the 2017 Lou Ferrigno Legacy in Palm Springs? No, I haven't been booked to appear there. Uh, good to see. Majority of Indians are commenting. Yeah, there are a lot of Indians on uh, on the YouTube this morning. Maybe I came in early, so I caught you guys before you go to bed. Um, ever gone to do any in-depth mobility training? Thanks in advance. Yeah, I could uh, film some of that. No worries. 
Um, let me see. Do you ever have time to vacation? Do you ever just have time to vacation? Come to Phoenix, Chris. Uh, what's in? Why do I need to go to Phoenix? <laughs> Thanks. Uh, yeah, I do, but it's normally um, like with family, like in Wales or in Europe or something. Um, lift up your shirt now, and we want to compare your physique at the end of the new series. Don't worry, guys. I took before pictures and video as well. Uh, just got my complete stack of cage muscle subs. Should I cut out using Vitago now that we have cage muscle supplements and reason why? Yeah, guys, if any of you are taking Vitago, and I was having this conversation this morning as well, and you're just following a muscle building program or one of my programs or you're just weight training, fucking cut it out now. You do not need the Vitago. Yes, I suggested it back in 2009 when I filmed my very, very first video series, but I haven't. And uh, now, and, and and the reason being is because if you're taking hydro, if you're taking recaged immediately post workout, the prohydrolyzed enzyme digests that whey isolate into a hydrolyzed protein so fast that it'll give you a sufficient insulin spike that you need post workout without having to have the carbohydrates. And obviously, if you do take the carbohydrates, then that can subdue your natural growth hormone levels. So if you're gonna have carbs, eat your carbs in the meal following about an hour hour and a half after you're recaged. Please spread the word because I answer it every day. Uh, where do you where do I see your full stack and diet? Depends what diet you're talking about and what stack. You're talking about for muscle building, for fat loss, for the four weeks of shred or what? Um where can I get cage muscle supplements in India, Mumbai? Uh, from the same place, hundreds and hundreds of other Indias, Indians purchase it from every single day. From cagedmuscle.com, we ship hundreds of boxes there every day to India. Are the supplements okay for diabetic people? Yes, but please do check with your physician. Chris, are you coming to... Uh, FIBO, no I'm not uh, I'm not booked to go there this year looking forward to mobility vid, awesome when is your gym starting in Mumbai keep following my socials and you'll be the first to find out uh, is there a calculator for the muscle building trainer like the hardcore trainer other than the one on bodybuilding.com no, it's the one that's on bodybuilding.com power walks effect for fat loss versus Hit, yes, uh, power walks, steady state. One and a half scoops of recaged is the right amount or one scoop? I would think 30 grams minimal of protein is effective. One scoop, okay, so I'm 220 pounds. One scoop is plenty for me. So just think about like this. If you go to the gym and do 100 reps, nowhere near failure, is that any good to you? No. If you go in and do fucking six reps to absolute failure, is that good for you? Yeah, because one's quality, the other one's quantity. Same with your post-workout supplements. Sometimes you may have to take two fucking three scoops of uh, post-workout whey protein because it's fucking shit. So you've got quantity there. I only produce quality. That's why you only need one scoop. I could inc I could improve my sales and go, oh yeah, fucking take two scoops. Yeah, it's hardcore. That's what I do. But I don't give a fuck about that. I want you to get the proper gains for the bang of your buck. You know what I mean? So take one scoop. Do you believe that flat shoes instead of running shoes are best for the gym? Yeah, that's why I use the Riderways because you've got much more floor contact and uh, more stability. Are you coming to the Fitness Expo Dubai, Pakistan on May 6th? No, I haven't been booked. Uh, guys, unless I've posted it all over my socials, you can pretty much guarantee that I'm not going to be there, you know what I mean? Um, so, like, you could ask, are you coming to Phoenix? Are you coming to New York anytime soon? Are you coming to L.A.? Uh, well, I'm not booked to go to those places, guys. So, no, I'm not. I'll let you know on my socials as soon as I do. Okay, sir, can women grow muscles without roids? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking hell. What do you think? Every single woman in the world with uh, muscles. 
have, uh, on steroids. Have you heard of natural bodybuilding shows? I guarantee, I think you should research and go and look at some of the females and the males in top uh, natural federations, uh, you know, such as the NGA, ANB, uh, UKBFF, and not UKBFF, sorry, um, and check out those athletes. They're not taking steroids. They're fucking phenomenal. Um, are you friends with Bradley Martin? I wouldn't say I'm friends with him. I know the guy. I've spoken to him and I've worked out with him. Uh, seems fine. Uh, buy pre in re cage or individual cage muscle supplements. Uh, yeah, individual. Uh, right, would you suggest after muscle building trainer do the four weeks of shred? I plan on doing it. Yeah, it all depends what your goals is, isn't it? But anyway, guys, it I've been on here for fucking 35 minutes now. I'm going to have to go. i got to get back to work. Someone's got to bloody put a roof over my house. So thank you very much for joining me. Um, and please do take care of your health. Don't just try to save some money by buying shitty food or taking a shitty supplement because it's on special because I don't want you to live your life of regret. I want you to live a life healthy and follow me and try to make it 100 years old as I'm starting to now, okay? All right, well, peace out, guys. Love you all, and I'll speak to you soon.